Hey, anybody know uh, what's with the dude playing soccer in our backyard? I'm Daniel Cutting, professional soccer freestyler and five-time Guinness World Record holder. That Daniel Cutting is so hot right now. Daniel Cutting. Hold my coffee. I got this. Okay, world record holder boy, if you really are so good, hit this water bottle off the top of my head. Shit just got real. You two dudes have needed a sports related exercise video for a long time, and I'm here to give you one. If you want to get better at soccer, I'm your man. Squats, one of the most functional exercises you can perform, and especially sports specific exercises, and in this case it's gonna be soccer. It's really gonna be working on that leg strength and power. What you wanna remember in this is keep your back rigid as you're performing the exercise. You don't want any spinal flexion as this could cause some serious injury. Bring your body down to the downward position and try to get that hip crease below the knee. That's gonna be a deep squat and that's really gonna be working the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, and a lot in the upper body to help stabilize the motion. Keep your knees in line with your toes at all times and keep your toes at a comfortable position, slightly pointed outward. Once you complete that, well, you've just completed a perfect squat. Pull-ups, an excellent upper body exercise. In fact, it's one of our favorites and it's a great indication of upper body strength. What you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is step up to the bar, place your hands about shoulder width apart, you're gonna have an overhand grip, and you're gonna go ahead and begin to bring yourself up, and as you do that, go ahead and depress and retract the shoulder blades. Bring the bar just about up to the clavicular portion of the chest, you're gonna to wanna to have your chin above the bar. Once you've done that, squeeze, hold, and bring yourself back down to the bottom position. Just make sure you don't have any Guinness record world holding players near you while you perform this exercise, because it's gonna take the wind out of your sails, man. Shit, Daniel, I'm a buff dude. You gotta make me look good. Anything sports related, you really wanna focus on hip strength. The hips are gonna generate a lot of power, strength, and speed. So in this case, we're gonna be moving on to kettlebell swings. And this is really going to be help isolating the strength and power in the hips. What you wanna do is flex in the hips, and what that's gonna do is you're going to thrust forward and create a lot of momentum and power and it's going to swing the weight up to the top position and then as it bring it down into the bottom position, you're gonna flex the hips, catching the weight and repeating the process. So it's much like a glute bridge where you're working in the hip extension and flexion, but this is gonna be a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger, a little bit more powerful, and it is going to be utilizing a little bit of momentum, but in that way, it's really gonna build that real quick speed and strength and explosive power in the long run. Any good athlete is gonna need a great core, and that's why we're moving on to the medicine ball twist toss. How you're gonna to wanna to perform this exercise is you're gonna go ahead and keep your hips stationary because it's all about the rotation of the trunk. This one's gonna be working the rectus abdominis, the transverse abdominis, and those obliques. So even if you don't have a group of buff dudes like me, Brandon, and DC there to aid you, you can perform this one by yourself as long as you got a wall. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do, twist that trunk, keeping those hips stationary, and grab the ball, twist the other side, throw, grab, rinse, and repeat. Think about it, the core. It's the energy, the essence of what makes an athlete. So don't forget. The push press. When you're doing this, remember three things. Dip, drive, press. 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 Okay. So anyways, what you wanna do is dip down. You're dipping down about two to three inches. And once you reach that, you're going to be quickly using a lot of power and strength in the legs to drive upwards. And as soon as you're driving upwards, that's when you utilize the shoulders to start pressing the weight overhead. So this is not only using the leg and hip strength, it's also working on a lot of shoulder strength too, because you're allowing yourself to push more weight than the shoulder is normally used to because you're utilizing that leg strength with it or the leg drive. And so this is not only gonna be working on that power in the legs and the drive, but it's also gonna be working on the power in the shoulders as well. So when you're running in that soccer and you need that high endurance and that quick speed, you're running for the soccer ball, you're gonna utilize that upper body to create that momentum to drag you even farther than you used to be. So that is what you wanna remember when doing the push press. 
dip, drop, press. <clears throat> Moving on to the most famous body weight exercise of all time, and that's gonna be push-ups. I think we've all tried push-ups at one time or another in our lives, and the great thing is, all you need is the ground we walk on in order to get it done. Now, push-ups are an upper body exercise along with pull-ups and push press. So you may be thinking, what's up with these upper body exercises? Soccer's all about lower body. Well, the great thing is you need that upper body to assist the lower body. So don't forget it because it's gonna complete the puzzle and make you a better player overall. So in order to perform this exercise, what you're gonna wanna do is keep the lower body in line with the upper body, bring yourself all the way down, and then lock out at the top position, completing that full range of motion. Then you've just completed a body weight push-up. Hell yeah. Okay then dudes, so there you have it. That was a DC Freestyle special workout. What did you think? Squats, pull-ups, push-ups? Yeah. Buff dudes approved. Hey Brandon, let's go out and do some DC Freestyle. Yeah. Beautiful. Ha, ha, ha.